Uh, talking also about the power of Hajj, uh, during Hajj, the rich and the poor, we find them uh, on equal foot. They are dressed the same. They stand together in worship. They rotate around uh, the Kaaba, reciting uh, with uh, praise, with their hearts, and beating in the rhythm with the words and also with the steps. Uh, who, they are always reciting, Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik, Labbaik la Sharika Laka Labbaik. And those are moments that are really very significant, Sheikh Hussain. Yeah, definitely, yes, definitely. Mm. And, and as you have just mentioned, there are very significant uh, objectives and values mm -hmm. that uh, the pilgrim experiences. And it, it really has, each one of them has an impact on uh, the life uh, of the pilgrim. And, and this is why uh, when we look into the experience of anyone who has performed Hajj, you see that they are always longing to experience Hajj again and again and they cannot have enough of it. And this is because of the sweetness of uh, this experience and how tr transformative uh, it is uh, in the positive uh, sense uh, of the word as uh, a consequence and as uh, a fruit uh, that the person uh, reaps. So let me highlight here uh, just a few points regarding uh, the, the significance and spe especially uh, the spiritual significance of the Hajj. How is it? It is a practical demonstration of pure monotheism and true obedience to uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and only. And how is it? This is very significant and very explicit from the very beginning of the rituals of the Hajj as the pilgrims declare their intention and they assume uh, the, the state of uh, ihram or the state of ritual uh, purity and they start uh, declaring the talbiyah which, mm. which is all about pure monotheism as it, it, it clearly states here I am O Allah which means that it is in response to uh, the call that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has directed uh, Prophet uh, Abraham or Ibrahim peace be upon him to declare so that all uh, worshippers will come from all over the four corners of the globe uh, walking and uh, using means of transportation to fulfill this uh, obligation which is owed uh, by all people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is what we have been witnessing because when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and this is a very subtle meaning mm -hmm. how is it it was just a call that was made uh, by Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how come they will hear me? How come any, uh, if I'm here now uh, standing in this uh, wide desert and no one is around me, so how come they will be able to listen to me or to my call and thus respond to it? But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, it is your duty to make the call and to proclaim the call and we will make it reach, reach the people and this is what we are witnessing nowadays. Yes, and uh, if we're going to remember, as you've said, that it is a, a sweet experience, that's yes. why uh, many people would love to go and perform Hajj more than one sure, time. Sure. How can we keep this power of uh, Hajj and this spiritual uh, atmosphere uh, around? How can we build on this energy yeah. that uh, the Hajj takes while performing to keep on and last? 